again. We're playing, we're doing our thing. Pop this under, tight. Jump up to neon belly, feed this through. I start going for the cross choke, but he's defending. So I'm gonna pull this across and drop. Look at my weight, I'm heavy. I can just finish without anything. I'm, he's holding all my weight now that I'm floating on that tricep. Elbow to the sky or towards the hip. Super tight choke. Um, Peter, or Ethan. So Chris can see. Good pressures, pull this out, you're fighting. D should pretty much be out anyway. I can't really go over his arm. Pull up, start to feed it, pull it tight. Guys, great shoulder control here. I mean, try to turn towards me. Super good control. You basically have him glued on that shoulder on the mat. Now, based on the, the gi, some guys are in tight gi, some guys a little bit, you know, baggy. It will dictate where we can get. Now, good shoulder pressure, jump up knee on the belly, grab what I can. Make sure that forearm's running tight. I start going for the cross choke, but maybe he's not allowing me. Pull that across, right there. I can drop my knee there too so he doesn't go anywhere. Park into it, turn the elbow. Super tight. Bringing that knee in there is just gonna minimize where he can go. So you're blocking the hip and everything like that. You can be sprawled out, he can walk a little bit more. If I kind of stay in that angle, I'm gonna be in much better control as I go for this choke. All it is is a Dars using the knee. Do this through. Sometimes if I can't get it, I'll pop the shoulder up, pull it tighter. Boom, we're playing. Jump up, feed it through tight. There it is. Start going for the cross choke, keep the fence, pull that down, drop in. Flex in, pull back. Tap. Make sense? This is the choke, not here. It's gotta be right there. That arm has got to be plastered. That upper lower shoulder bicep region has got to be plastered right there. And both quadrilateral are going to be super tight. Make sense? Yes. All right, let's hit this one nice and slow. 